Of mm. course, we're getting into the news and um, headlines, of course, here and around the world right now mm -hmm. are all about America decides, but it seems the decision has already been, been made. made. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Donald Trump uh, will be, you know, is uh, actually officially, well, not officially because he hasn't been inaugurated, but all signs are leading to the fact that he will be the next president of the United States. He is president-elect. Yes, president-elect, mm -hmm. actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the correct term. And uh, yeah, he, of course, beat out um, his rival Kamala Harris and uh, the election results came in quite quick but we've talked about this on the show previously i just wanted to have a look over what that means for us for kenya for our u.s kenya relations and um our economic policies and so many other things there's mm -hmm. a nice story on the front page of the daily nation that uh, gives a glance of what this could mean for kenya now that donald trump is set for presidency mm -hmm. one on matters trade he's the kind of president who prefers a free trade agreement with kenya mm -hmm. whereas uh, president biden was more focused on uh, strategic trade partnerships which were were amenable to extending the Agoa Treaty mm -hmm. and many other treaties that have been made over the years with the U.S. Mm -hmm. As we look at that, also we need to uh, look at the perfect consideration, uh, keeping in mind that our president was in the U.S. most recently and they had pact signed. Yes. Uh, so we hope they're going to be sustained as a result because you never know. Uh, mm -hmm. First of all, it's not a Democrat to a Democrat in that it's not, uh, if it was from Joe Biden into Kamala Harris, they would have had policies that are pretty close, meaning the agreements uh, across the borders would definitely make perfect sense. So we don't sure. know uh, of the involvement of the U.S. with Kenya, but as Mariam has already touched on some of them, Manonia Trade, Hapo Ivo, uh, pretty much a delay. And of course, uh, Trump's preferences on maybe deciding to build America instead of the rest of the world. So when it comes to matters aid mm -hmm. to the rest of the world, uh, maybe we're not going to be seeing that. Also, kuna mambo kama ya security. You remember uh, we have our boys and girls at um, uh, Haiti, mm -hmm. and of course it was being supported by the UN, and the US. Yes. And uh, maybe if the US decide to backtrack, then what does that mean for that mission? True, and uh, Trump is very much likely to backtrack on that. Of mm -hmm. course, the US had pledged three hundred million dollars to this mission. A mm -hmm. hundred was released, but um, the Congress refused to release the other two hundred. Mm -hmm. uh, Trump also does not uh, promote LGBTQ and abortion rights in Africa. Mm -hmm. um, um, he'll most likely, you know, be either neutral or, su uh, you know, just yeah, silent on the subject mm -hmm. uh, while he's focusing on America. While President Biden very much championed the women, uh, the rights of women and of sexual minorities. Mm -hmm. Now, this news has also been met with, uh, you know, gloom in some parts of Kenya yeah. and celebration in others, especially for those who feel that uh, a Trump presidency will mean for the recalling of U.S. Ambassador to Kenya, Meg Whitman. Mm -hmm. A lot of people, um, especially on social media, the rhetoric has been that, of course, she's very much close to the Kenya Kwanzaa administration. Mm -hmm. And Martha Karo was quoted as saying yesterday that she's disappointed that Kamala Harris did not make it and suspects the race and gender card may have influenced the outcome. Mm -hmm. But the immediate benefit of a Trump win is the prospect of Kenya getting a new U.S. ambassador mm -hmm. who will hopefully be nonpartisan, unlike the current one passes as an ally for the Kenya Kwanzaa regime. Yeah. I found that um, very interesting of her to say, but it is a sentiment that's held by a lot of people. And I remember when a few embassies put together a joint statement on mm -hmm. the abductions and disappearances that have been happening, mm -hmm. the U.S. failed to join in. But um, the, U the U.K. High Commission, the Royal Danish Embassy, the Embassy of Finland, mm -hmm. of uh, Germany, Ireland, Netherlands, Norway, Sweden, and Switzerland all put together a joint statement. And as you look at that, also uh, it means that Trump Trump's presidency has influenced the market. We've seen a jump of the dollar since March. Uh, it's the first time that we've seen uh, the dollar improve across the world. Also, uh, most people are investing in Bitcoin and most likely with the US dollar. So uh, as we look at that, maybe uh, in terms of trade, it might have caused a level of improvement and people are showing trust towards Trump's uh, um promise to actually improve the economy mm -hmm. so Najwa, the republicans pretty much concentrate on where the dollar is so Very we don't true. know uh give us your feedback using the hashtag morning fix tell us what you think about the victory uh trump has uh is the president elect of the u.s as america decides